So I changed a little bit about my setup, so that may, uh, <laughs> may come across as fairly obvious. I will... I will need to figure out, or rather keep in mind, um, that my mic mute buttons have kind of changed a little bit. Ooh, man, that kind of sucks. I didn't give this one a shot yet. Um, that might be worthwhile for this. I I don't know why I the that initial kind of scrap through is just always moves it a little bit too fast for me to really real good job. Uh, really tell what the hell's going on there. Um. Okay, that should be good. That'll clear us of most of our current stuff. Um, any additional bombs, which we may or may not end up hitting. Um, okay. I wasn't fully intending to uh, actually hit that bomb there, but... This reload is going to be a bear and a half to, uh, to hit. Fucking Christ. I sh it's, it's become readily fucking apparent that I should have gone with the, uh, swaps after each one. There we go. Somehow managed to get out without uh, without taking any damage. Let's Let's see what's going on down here. I think I want to probably hit up the shop, although we are getting less money. I doubt it's going to be hugely uh, relevant, though, uh, given that last last game I ended up with, I think it was um, five hundred gold at the end. I just I couldn't couldn't spend it. Like the the problem is the the ideal spot for a shop is about here, but most of the time you're you're thus choosing between like a shop or a treasure chest or or one of these boss fights and a lot of the boss fights in in this in the forest kind of suck if you don't have a build already. Um, let's go after that shop. I don't know that I'm gonna go after boss fights, I may, may just um, do this and kind of carve, try to carve an arc that way. Uh. Well, shit.
guess we are not doing that. Ah, oh, obelisk. Which is, I believe, the orbalisk? That'd be fine. For reference here. Plus one, two for each stone in your deck. And hits everything in a column. Okay, so left and then right. If, if we can. Weird that that did not, uh, Okay, so this is for a Bram Ball. I have no idea what shaking the tree does, though. What's the egg? Ah. Ah. Interesting. I don't think I've ever seen that event before. Wow. <laughs> oh. That, uh... Went how you say the opposite of good. fine though obviously I really want to uh... avoid hitting the bomb until this this next one's on the field but of course Although we don't we don't really need that much damage, so Also, what direction are we gonna head? It doesn't matter. I mean we're we're as long as we hit at least this one, we're fine. Man, these, uh, these crits are certainly being interesting today. Dag orb doing big work because there's, there's no work to do. Always, always good. Still four gold. This, I know there are ones that are, are probably a little bit more annoying to deal with. This is one of my least favorites. Because um, the map always does that bullshit. I guess that works. I'd really like to get that other bomb though.
Wow, oh, Dagorb actually doing its job. Like, I'd have still been better off discarding it, but... You know, is what it is. I do hate that I have a lot of trouble seeing Herbalisk on this background. Um... I don't know what tier two and tier three do, so. Ah. Well, let's hold off just in case we end up needing to. Uh... use money on, on health. Because you never know. Damn it. Well, on the one hand, but I mean, on the other hand, this will then allow us to potentially get rid of uh, everybody's favorite. The chosen one, Dagorb. Chosen because it sucks. Oh, fuck me. Well, I actually did a decent job there with, uh, with Dagorb. And since it really does not matter which... ...way we end up going... No, it is just up to tier 3. For whatever reason, I was thinking there was 3 upgrades for each. Ah, uh, let's, let's take that. I'm not too concerned with getting more stones or anything. I think the, uh, the way to max coins is... this way, but I don't... I don't think that's actually viable. Eh. I mean, like I said, the, the way we want to go is either one. Bombs doing plus 10 damage puts them back to their old damage amount, and a lot of monsters are kind of based around um, being killable by base tier bombs. I'd really rather have the one that has two um, reloads. I've never taken this one. I don't know if that means free or if the the paid one. I think it's it's when you pay for it. 
Or I assume it's when you pay for it. I mean, the refillabuster is not terrible. Um, it or the bombaton are both, you know, perfectly reasonable. Um, because I don't have a way of refreshing bombs, I only have plus bomb damage. I think I'm going to go with the refillabuster. Um, I could have gone with, with, wait, wait. I'd never noticed that the the buying something from the store modifies the layout of the thing. That's neat. Okay, so we have full damage and well, we've already seen some, some low damage occasionally because they don't um, contribute deep by default. Um, I think this is mostly relevant for like slime and such. Who, who's our boss? Slime. <laughs> that makes that one real easy. Um... Honestly, against the slime, uh, ball lightning. Could be real useful. It, it, it'll hit a whole bunch of, uh, orbs, spheres. Like, I don't think, ultimately, I'm as happy with this as I was with my, um... Prior run where I had a really ridiculous, uh... Orbalisk build, but... Or not, uh, Orbalisk. Ouroboros. Orboros? Um, same deal, it's not... And, like, the, the major thing with that is that, uh, you know, you're dealing a whole bunch of damage just based off of your, your echo. I hate those fucking slime orbs. Even if we get a decent amount of damage here, we're still very reliant on, uh... ...that bomb to not die. Which we appear to have done. Yeah, this is <laughs> this is one that used to be absolutely broken. Um, because when it was initially dropped, it didn't have a limit on that magnetism. Well, that's unplayable.
Well, that kind of sucks. Hmm. I mean, obviously that can be absolutely ridiculous, but I, I think I'd rather take the everything's durable. It'll make certain fights annoying, especially here, but uh, we'll probably make that last one um, actually viable. I'm actually fine with that. Hmm. I kind of wish things had, uh, well, I guess overflow wouldn't really matter for our, uh, Oh, are you healing? I should really get the, the ball lightning upgraded. Oh, this is not, in no way gonna hit. Wow, that new reload location is, uh, even fucking worse. Wow. Wow, game. So, surprising no one. Dagorb failed at the one thing it's supposed to do. I'm glad that we have that uh, rallying heart now. Oh, I thought that upgraded in damage. Okay, so... Well, if we... <laughs> Fuck. Um... I mean, we don't really have the money to be doing much on the left hand side. Fuck. And it's a good thing that I did not uh, assume that the Hag Orb would actually end up hitting the crit, because of course we wouldn't have. Yeah, 
didn't do a great job, but uh, I am not unhappy with the result. Largely because it got the re reload out of a uh, awful spot. And that's that's still not as bad of a spot. Especially not with the. Uh, well, okay, that was a fuck up on my end. If we had the uh, Kutsamalos fleece, that would be that would have been a ridiculous turn. Um, think it would have actually been a very good good turn if that makes any sense since it still would have just been on a enemy that was mostly dead already god damn it I don't know why I rushed on that one when you know, I could have just hit F and let it come come back around. Like I'm gonna do here. We can hit precisely one orb. Apparently we managed to hit all but one orb. It's always a good time. I know some people don't care for this map, but... Um, and I know a lot of it has to do with the fact that we have... Shield guys and eventually a... Uh, Caster, but a smart person would have discarded the last stone. Dagorb's taking care of the shield. Can't do anything else, but... Oh, nice. Damn it, that was... Not my intent. Although at least we did get the cr Oh, fuck you, game. decent shot out of it.
since it needs nine damage. Good thing that uh, Orbalisk is a lot more powerful. Yeah, hadn't seen your chat because my uh, or uh, yeah your comment because Twitch. I always forget that that uh, my Twitch chat. God, I'm bad at this post thing. Um. Always, always forget that my I need to actually have a have something set in there before it loads, which I don't get. But yeah, that one is. Although I've gotten bold orbs stuck. <laughs> then again, I'm I'm I have somehow managed to get about half the damn orbs stuck. at one point in time. This should be sufficient. As I am four short. Oh. I am extremely good at demonstrating the, uh, the skills that made it difficult to get past uh, all of the prior uh, crucibles. Oh man, it would have been four short again, jeez. Not that we have a prayer's chance in hell here anyway, but... Oh, nice. Actually getting, uh, a bomb down. And we don't have overflow, so... I'd forgotten we had the, uh, plus 10 bomb damage. I am really tempted just to, to launch this. Since uh, if it is re relevant to an event, it uh, something tells me we are not going to live to see it anyway. That something being the uh, fact that I'm not even sure we're gonna get through the the, uh, the caster here. Which is well. See, a lot of this is just, a lot of the unlocks that I'm getting are just because it's been a while. Short Fuse is really useful, but we just had a lot of extra trouble because poor luck with uh, reload placement, refresh placement. So before I, okay. Mostly fights to get over to here. And regardless of what we do, we're only getting one. So may as well try to go for the 
the boss and the shop. Okay. Good to see. I do actually rather like that uh, even though we have two uh, reloads, neither one's in a great position. For that matter, the, the bombs are actually in a rather weird position to get to. Like, I know it's it's a static one because it's the it's supposed to be bark. Um, There we go. Took a little bit of damage up front, but that one can be. Hmm. I don't think I've seen that orb either. I'm... At least it doesn't matter, because I, I just need to be... To the, the right, just need to go to the right every other time here. That may, may mean needing to play it safe, but... It's not a huge deal. I wasn't even gunning for that. What I'm actually trying to do is just get... Get some bombs blown up. Not, not that many bombs, but... I suppose I should also be aiming for... Uh, some of the stuff on the right here. Trying to make an easy path. Okay, and we can actually go for those last coins. Or the last easy coins, anyway. Yeah, we're just on standard orb still um i think that's fine since we're still just getting regular fights i do like sphere but i will never learn my lesson well, okay, if the lesson's that I am a giant idiot and will never learn my lesson, I will always learn my lesson. I had a preferred hit and stuff, but, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> I'm gonna take damage. Right out the gate. But everything else is dead. So.
Mm. Oh yeah, I've, I'm not a big fan of Infor for an orb since the uh, balance change to give it self damage. Okay, so this is just double damage on coin orbs. I wonder if that increases above and beyond double? I mean, we could check what it looks like. Yeah. I mean, obviously that has some, some limitations on it, but... Uh, let's, let's not take the risk and, but then avoid getting the treasure chest. Well, it didn't kill, but it didn't do a terrible job. Given that I didn't do a very good job, you know, firing it. So I really want to avoid hitting that one until we... I guess it doesn't matter. We're gonna take a couple additional points of damage anyway, but... Let's, let's just avoid hitting everything that's of potential value? Sound good? This is... This is some amazing uh, shooting here. Metrioshkorb is, uh, or I guess Mesh Metrioshka is uh, always a fun one, but it doesn't increase in damage, so it's it's kind of a tough sell. Oh, that could be really good given that we have uh, the additional refresh. Since we don't have short fuse, and, and really I, I would prefer having it with uh, short fuse and the thing that detonates everything AoE. Man, they are consistently giving us our uh, sabre orb at, uh, at the back.
Because of course, why would we want the thing that is actually useful here with the, the coin-based ones at the front? I mean, I hate this fight in particular anyway, because half the damn enemies have AoE or, or move double speed, so... And with those bombs being a pain in the ass to hit... I probably shouldn't have killed that one. Should have left it alive to block this one. Man, those are some sort of awful bounces. Yeah, I'm just not going to get to one of those bombs. I mean, I knew I wasn't going to get it on, get to him on a, a real time frame, but I figured I might have a, you know, chance in hell of getting to them at all. Fucking Christ. This is great, but we really um, need to have some some sort of ability to uh, get through our deck. I mean, deck thinning would also be nice. That seems pretty powerful. So this gives, I believe, um, something similar to, to what the save orb has on everything. But I think that's more generally useful. If I could have hit a crit, it would have been nice, but... So the big thing is that, uh... That will really make, um... The crit mark chasing for, uh... the old dag orb not as awful
Speaking of uh, bombs that are in annoying spots to hit. Of course it didn't hit even once on that. Well, fortunately, it doesn't actually need to do very much damage here. So the safety net's been doing a fair amount of work for us. Which is good, because my shots have been atrocious. So odds are this boss fight is going to go poorly for us, but... You know, it has a chance. I don't think we're going to hit the crit anyway, so... Here we really, really need some luck that we didn't get. Oh, fuck you, game. And then we take another hit. Saved by fucking Dagorb. Dagorb of all things. I mean, this is really good for uh, if you have a backpack that's only one one thing. Which, while mine is not... It's uh, close enough that I'm willing to take the chance. Of it being... God damn it. Mostly beneficial. Now, fortunately, we do have that, because that's actually contributing a hell of a lot to our damage.
yeah, we were able to get um, out of here without taking damage because of it. And because of some luck with, uh, with Dag Orb. I think I'm going to go with good old uh, everybody's favorite power glove. This one is not, in fact, so bad. I do rather like the unicorn horn. Um, enhanced gunpowder is pretty good. And everybody's favorite, the, uh, Damn slime boss. Of course we bounced over but missed the crit block. gone a hell of a lot worse. Actually, that doesn't really matter. It's not hitting that. That just hit that despite me. I mean, Cursed Mass could be... With that, I don't have a huge reason to need to discard. We're gonna get eaten by a wall. It's gonna be great. Yeah, with, with that, we don't... <laughs> oh no, Dagorb only hit a handful of things, but, but because of everything, that's just not a huge deal. <laughs> I think if, if, and this is a big if, if we can get it, I really think that I want the... Uh, Thing that makes pegs durable. I 
can't think of the name. I think that would be a, a pretty, pretty big get for uh, for this. It sort of feels like I have Echo just because of how much fucking damage we're doing. Like, I know we don't, but... I am not used to having this much damage ability. Uh, not, not where we are. Um... The bosses here sometimes are real bad and sometimes aren't. Um, yeah, let's let's go to the left. We could end up getting four straight bosses and just getting you know absolutely steamrolled, but fucking what? Fuck me. Well, that's good. Although I do absolutely hate uh, this group of enemies. Is... Is, is there not a crit on the board right now? I don't think there was a crit on the board. That was weird. Aside from the fact that the bombs do fuck all to, uh... The knights, this is... or the, the shields. This is great. I didn't even realize that second one had uh, 100 health. Um. Uh. Yeah, that's that's a slight increase. I don't I'm not sure why, but... Okay. I think I'll hold off just in case I need the... Uh, money for healing. 
I mean, we do have the, the cookie, which is nice for that, but... Uh... I mean, that completely negates the one, but the downside of this, but I still don't think I'm going to discard anything, not with our currents. And again, I only really like my odds with that, with uh, short fuse. Ah, grabby hand. And I did mention the possibility of, uh, just four bosses in a row. The bombs actually make things a lot more reasonable with... Oh, fuck me. Um, the, uh... Enhanced gunpowder. serious game. Game has chosen violence. God, some of these fucking bounces. That enemy, I really just feel like, has way too much help. Okay, so there we're seeing what the actual upgrade for that is. And that's still, still a good upgrade. On the one hand, that would give us 25 health immediately. On the other hand, this would give us a lot of health Potentially. Ooh. Content chip is is good content, don't get me wrong, but I <laughs> I don't like my uh luck with it.
Okay, there we go. One night down. I don't like my odds with the rest of this, given the number of enemies that just fucking do damage every turn, but... And my inability to get some decent bounces. Yeah, the, the fact that we're taking 7 damage every turn is... It just sucks ass. Of course, it couldn't uh, couldn't stay up long enough to get another uh, refresh orb. I'm actually not sure how much damage uh, Big Guy does. I don't think it really matters since we are. Definitely not going to live long enough to see it. Yeah, well, looks like we'll die to it. Assuming it's more than the uh, four. Yeah, ten. Nice. So that build was okay, but had, uh, Had some severe issues with with regards to AOE, which isn't something I normally actually have an issue with. I actually meant to hit my right click button, but I guess it doesn't matter when uh, when the enemy is that low on health. And it turns out it was probably a good idea that I did not uh, discard the dagger. Thank you. 
Again, I, I figured it probably wouldn't matter. I really want to like Ball Lightning, but in kind of our current state, I'd There's nothing to really like about it. Okay. So we got a we got a plan laid out. We are failing to live up to said plan. It doesn't really matter, but Oh god. Yeah, th this one is not the worst one. I keep seeing it and thinking it's it's one of the ones that's worse than it is. Although it's it's awful when all of your uh, money is around these things which most of which are you're never going to fucking hit. Now, fortunately, we actually did decent on the damage front that first shot. So, uh... We are in a better spot than I'm used to being at this point. Yeah, we... I don't know, we're... We have one to, to kill, but... We can just go for the, the bomb. It's not gonna be a big deal. Of course, that bomb would. Of, of course, some other bomb would be the, the first one to actually get, uh... Hit. Um, I'm actually tempted to grab Ek Orb. It's not a great orb in and of itself. Um, in a lot of ways, Voltorb Geist is, mm, Voltorb Geist is one that can, can be an endgame orb. I have no idea which way we're heading. I think left? Looks like left. Okay, well, I mean, if, if we had left each time, this time. So we got Rub Orb, we've got Orbzium. And we have Swoltorb. I'm actually, well... I was fine with either one of these. Fuck me. We don't have any fucking cash. You know, given 
given that. How do you hit everything around it but miss the, the bomb? I know I'm giving up a lot of cash here, but turn one, I've never had much success with, with actually going for it, so... Lose a little bit of health, but that's fine. If we get the hero's backpack, those stones could be great. Oh, and they're, they're pre-leveled. They're actually not terrible already. Thank you, crows. Perfection. I forgot that we had uh, less 10 damage from on these things. Bold Herb would be nice, especially once we get to uh, the next level. I'm just not going to risk it. Okay. Well, we're we're going to the right because otherwise we're we're giving up a spot. No reason to advance two.
What are the odds of that happening, I say, as if it doesn't happen every single time we do this shit? Fortunately, some of these things can do actual damage. There we go. I was only trying to shit, hit that fucking thing for, you know, half the goddamn shots in the entire time I was fucking here. Always oh, great when you hit one of those and you find out, oh no, no, I should not have fucking done that. get the best one. Does it fucking matter? Only if it sends me to the left. I think it could have sent me to any four of them. Any one of the four. I know it's not a, a large refresh, but...
I am real glad that we do not need much for, uh, Yeah, of course we didn't. And we're still gonna take damage. Two hits, in fact. No, oh, no, we only we only took the one. Okay, so we get short fuse or some protection against uh, being fucked over by that. Eh. I tried. And it wasn't a huge deal. It's always amusing to me when it's uh, the same same orb. We don't have the money for Aglin, so. I mean, the problem is it's it's Inferno Orbs. So that's minus 10 damage and then a further whole bunch of minus damage. I don't know why that one bounced that way. I already have the achievement for killing the, uh... ...tree, so I'm not... Particularly concerned with that. So, one of the nice things about this fight is that it does refresh those bombs every time he leaves a uh, new plant. Durable pegs are tend to be, tend to be, I shouldn't say are, tend to be fantastic with uh, Bold Orb. Initial glance, I think we're going to the right. Obviously, we need to survive this first fight, but. Yeah. I am astounded that that did not hit the crit. Oh, 
I'm in no rush on Bulldor, but if I hold off, I can hit them all. Obviously, I'd like to get a uh, reload, refresh on that. Uh... But, I mean, that doesn't appear too likely to happen. No. Say the V. Everything's still taking a decent chunk of damage. serious. Well, it's still still a kill, but Take a little bit of, well, probably two hits. I was expecting literally anything there, but. And I do want to go to the right. Surprisingly, we still managed to not hit two of the uh, pegs there. Ethereal. Forgot that you can't uh, change targets at the uh, until your th thing's done. is way low on that.
think I'm gonna go with this partially just so we can get some of the way in on, in on that. I'll discard for this. But I think we're going to want to keep Boldor, but try to keep Boldor kind of in here. We had gotten a little bit more damage, but This will at least allow us to uh, not really care if we, yeah, because we're, we're not clearing to that bomb. And now it doesn't matter. Perhaps unsurprisingly, failed to hit a lot of those. Well, this is going to be a bear. Luck. I do actually rather like the Jack Orb Lantern. Um, I'd like it a lot more if it did more damage. This does seem to be the only one of these we uh, tend to get. Yeah, it's... I feel like th there was maybe a problem of too many good orbs early on in uh, early access, but in a lot of ways it feels like it's gone the opposite, unfortunately. Like, Inferno Orb with no disadvantages was, yeah, perhaps, perhaps a bit too strong, but... Yeah. Man, this really isn't going to do all that much damage either. Unless I get decent luck. But yeah, 
most of them starting out at, at like, one, two really does not, uh... Does not help things. Also, why was that... Why was that so loud? Of course, it doesn't bounce high enough for the... I guess it's just because it's it's six of them. It can be decent, but yeah, it's it really needs to have... Some other damage. For your build, power glove, um, sealed conviction, things like that. And those just, we, we are not going to get another turn realistically. I forgot how bad, uh, Refresh uh, locations can be at times. Then again, I also forgot how much I hate the uh, bosses for the castle. I mean, all of them have some level of negative, but it feels like some of the time you don't run into the negative just because, well, it's really only some of the boards where durable even can be bad. On a lot of the boards, there's basically no negative because... You can still get to all of it. Some of them, though, you basically have then locked off half of the board because you you can only chip away. doing an awful job with getting gold here. Yeah, Matryorska. I, I think just the, the issue was the devs saw too many builds built around like Matryorshka and some of the other ones with even just relatively light scaling that uh, they, they kind of tuned everything a bit too rough.
I mean, I don't, I don't think that is inherently uh, the worst thing, having everything be tuned to a level lower than the highest. Um, I think I'll just take the plus one. I think a lot of it's just some of the crucibles are really dead. Yeah, it's possible. Some of those crucibles are definitely gigantic dick moves, though. I know I've heard uh, a lot of complaints about, I think it's 10. But I think to a certain extent, as a dev, you're going to need to, especially if you're not that great at, at these games, you're going to need to plan on your your most difficult, your highest difficulty being something that you struggle with a lot. Um, because, of course, there's always going to be a player that's a lot better than you. In this case, somebody who is really good with Peggle, I don't know that the skills would necessarily transfer over, but somebody who's, who's, who really understands the physics of this one could probably have uh, a pretty good time most of the time. As long as they're not trying to explain why uh, Dagor just loves missing uh, certain parts of the uh, the wall Of course I can't really talk about uh difficulty given that I am currently stuck on eight. <laughs> yeah, using it as a sacrificial thing to Yeah, and, the, and there's definitely something to be said about having your your basic difficulty be something where you need the, the player to kind of start to understand things. But once they have that basic under... I am not going to get through the, the freaking Minotaur. Um, once they have that basic understanding, they... Uh, generally don't have that many issues. I should have shot this the other way. I'm 
But yeah, I think uh, I think both Slay the Spire and Monster Train have a bit fewer stumbling blocks as you are uh, going up the the ascensions. Certain uh, build combos, I am way too dumb. Or I make way too many bad decisions with in uh, Monster Train. The uh, the squids in particular. I am. Really good at making the dumbest decisions possible. Yeah, it's it's nice that you can that there's really no build or no no kind of card base so weak that you can't build around it. But it also means that as you're trying to figure things out, if you, uh, if you intuited it incorrectly, it, uh, sometimes it means tossing that run, but it's rare that that's because of RNG. Of course, I suppose the big comparison there would be it's probably most similar to, uh, like, Dicey Dungeons, and that you, you basically just never lose because of RNG. Well, 90% of the time you don't lose because of RNG. Sometimes late game you do, but... Oh man, it'd been such a long time since I've seen Bob Orb, I'd kind of forgotten that, uh... I don't have anything that, well, detonates around it, but... Eh, yeah, screw it, I'm still tempted. Yeah. 
then I guess it also depends on on how deep it was when you realized that you uh, were, were going to end up getting screwed by RNG. Because I think, like, if it's something that happens relatively early, of course, it's not a huge deal. Although, I mean, all of these games, all the games we're talking about have relatively short runs, so... That's a good point. Gives, uh, gives some level of variance. Do I care on this? I don't think so. Uh, what's the effect of the relic you're you're thinking of? Because ingot made me think of the uh, the uh, vampirism relic, which I don't think is what you're you're talking about. Oh no, it is what you were talking about. Yeah, infernal ingot ingot's fun. Um, I, I think I have had as many runs, uh, where the loss of health has utterly, the loss of max health has, has hurt me more than the regen has saved me. And I've, I've had it save runs where there was no chance But I was hitting a lot of pegs. Sapper's the uh, red bomb one, right? The uh, quickest way to uh, get yourself. Ah. 
I don't know that I've seen the, uh... I mean, I probably have, but... I just, I'm not remembering the boss. Oh, that one, yeah. I had a really dumb build the only time I've seen it. Um, it died to the first and only, uh, shot I took. Oof. I think the only reason I did not notice that is because I was firing so many of them. And they ultimately weren't... They were, like, a secondary thing rather than... Okay. That sounds miserable for bomb builds. Sounds miserable for most builds, really. them ramping up cube bosses damage it just doesn't doesn't feel like it did much <laughs> Yeah, that's unfortunate. Like, it's, it's weird that it feels like a lot of these things are kind of getting nerfed when they're not the strongest, maybe just the most visibly uh, ridiculous. No, because I'm <laughs> I'm probably going to end up getting spoiled on some of them just by virtue of, of watching um, some folks who stream this game and not being that good myself. Uh, 35 on, on the bomb damage. Feels rough already. Oh yeah, I don't have...
Yeah. They're definitely a lot less bad when you are doing 60 or even 50 damage. But Yeah, it seems like even that just converts Bob Orban into another one of those just mostly useless orbs, or at least later on. Yeah, but I believe that the perfect reactant has a well, you, you can't get it out right off the go, so. Yeah. Being able to kill these things in one shot is, uh... Very big. That and just a lot of things have 60 health or otherwise have enough to make it so that it's really annoying to uh, try to deal with. That and I suppose Nerfing bomb builds is a way to make it so that you need a different AoE orb. The one time I I took Morbid Orb, I kept getting it at the very start of, of matches, and then on reload, it would it would be at the back. So I never actually got to see it. No, oh, screw it. Okay. So it gave me a stone and a ball lightning and upgraded a whole bunch of stones. Okay.
Well, it looks like we're going to the right. That is a lot of chests. Feel tempted to grab the bold orb. Of course. <laughs> I was really expecting to have, uh, I really don't want more stones. Not perfect, but... Yep. That one was just straight up bad. I forgot that this was a level one ball lightning. On this, I should have just discarded it. I, I don't know why I'm not paying any attention to what's going on with the, the middle there. Aside from just, just playing poorly. I was really trying to get to that reload, but... Thank you. I'm probably not going to be playing for too much longer myself, so... But I do appreciate uh, you being here. In fact, I'm I'm definitely sure this is going to be the last run. A decent bold orb is always good. I'm actually real tempted to take both of these are tempting entirely because well rallying heart is really nice when you're not being very good but unicorn horn helps you by by, by allowing you to, to be a little bit less bad Oh, I just noticed something. Why? That was weird. For some reason, timestamps got turned off. Probably something I did, but... It's, uh... I find them helpful for 
you know, realizing, oh, you've you've been talking to yourself for several minutes and utterly missed, you know, people saying stuff for a couple minutes. God, I, I hate this particular fight, though. Oh, actually, I don't know that the... Hmm. I don't know that Bold Orb can get in on that uh, refresh orb, thinking about it. God, that, that heel hitting everybody is loud. Oh, did... What? What? Why did the bomb literally not do any, or the, the ball lightning literally travel to nowhere? Like, I know it's bad, I didn't realize uh, that it was that bad. <laughs> We're fucked. Okay. Well, like I said, that is going to be it for me. Thank you for stopping by. Hope you have a wonderful day. Hope you're doing better than my, uh, my voices. Actually. Ah, uh, looks like Gilder already ended. Well, I will send you out in the world, uh, have fun with your favorite streamer.